Okay, we're having some trouble with our cooling system here on the old Ranger. Now that it's gotten a little warm out, the longer I ride it, the warmer it gets, you know, running probably 220, 230, and uh, getting pretty warm and it won't stay cool. And I know I've got the fans on the wrong side, but I do have a nice big paddle fan there that really puts out some air and it got the air pushing this way. But the problem I'm having is when it starts running warm, it's like the thermostat's not opening. And it's like I've got cold spots all over here. So the way the water pump works on this old LS, the water comes up through here when the thermostat opens. And I've got the hose kind of routed funky. I've got the hose routed a little funny up and over that because I don't have any room to run it in front of the accessories coming back to here. But the problem I'm having is this will be scalding hot and then you get halfway down the radiator all will be cold like the thermostat's not opening. It block tested good. But what I do notice is both the heater hoses down here. Let's see if I can get a shot of that. Kind of hard to see. And I've heard people say, oh, loop the hoses, block the hoses. Some people say, oh, you can't block the hoses, you gotta loop them. But you gotta think about it. Your thermostat's right there. This is your hot water side coming out to the heater core. And what I've done is I bypassed the heater core just for giggles. I just got my steam port in the loop here too so it can bleed all the air out. I made sure all the air's out. But these hoses are both scalding hot. And it's almost like the hot water's coming out here and pouring right back in on the cold side. Because normally on, a, on like a 5.3 truck, you'd have a surge tank with a T on this coming back to the surge tank. So it's a little bit different setup. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the water pump off. I'm gonna tap this and tap this and block both of these ports off. I'm gonna put a freeze plug right there like the race car people are doing. Leave the thermostat out so we can have continuous flow and then see how this old girl does. So yeah, we're gonna jerk the water pump off because I feel like the pressure, I feel like this hot water is overcoming the flow of the cold water trying to come through a thermostat housing. And I'm gonna prove it once I take the water pump off. Tap this, plug that, plug that. Put a freeze plug right there so the hot water can't, can't keep circulating through here. It's only gonna suck in the cold water. And uh, I'll make a little video of that and we'll see what happens. Okay, so here's what we're going to need to do our thermostat heater. Heater hose delete on our LS water pump, half inch MPT tap, and a 3 8 MPT tap, and of course a half inch MPT plug, 3 8 MPT plug. And the freeze plug I'm using, it's not quite 31 millimeters, but it's a 555023 Dorman. And that's what we're going to use to delete this thermostat and delete the heater circuit and see if we can't get the old Ranger running cooler. So the first thing we're gonna do here is get these pressed in nipples off and we're gonna tap them and uh, put some plugs in them. So I got us an all thread bolt, three eighths. Got a socket that'll fit over that so we can kind of pull this thing out. Put a bolt through here. And make sure you got a washer. I have to get kind of an odd sized washer that'll that'll go inside here and actually you know fit in that crevice and grab grab that little nipple and pull it out. So that's the plan. So here's what my setup looks like. I got that all thread bolt through this socket right here, which is Uh, 15 sixteenths and then I had to put a washer in there that's the size of that nipple and another spacer in that washer so I could hold that nut the nut was getting sucked in so we're going to give it another go here Alright, so that 
pull that nipple out and we'll uh, try to rig something up to do the next one. All right, had to get a little more creative with the bottom one. Had to use a uh, 19 mil 3.8 socket with a 5.16 bolt. That's about, oh, I don't know, maybe four inches long. And a lock washer and a nut on the other side kind of jammed it together. And and uh, we got the last one off. So, so yeah, now we've got both of them off and we're gonna tap that out and then knock our freeze plug in. All right, got the tap going in. This can go easy. Try to stay straight. It's aluminum, so it, it threads pretty, pretty easy. So we're done tapping everything. Um, need to blow all these shavings out of here. So put on your safety glasses, put them on. Well, now we got our holes threaded. You really need a 23, 30 seconds drill bit to get this right. The 3 8 MPT worked fine on that bottom hole, but this bigger hole, you really need to drill it before you put that half inch MPT in it because it's, it's pretty tight. I was afraid I was going to bust a water pump, but I didn't. But anyhow, we're going to drill a, we're going to drill a hole in this freeze plug before we put it in there to prevent air lock. But, uh, the way these things work is, is the hot water comes in here and circulates, the thermostat's shut, and this hot water comes in through here and it can just circulate through the pump. So when the thermostat opens, it actually helps seal this hole off, is the way I understand how it works. So the thermostat lets the cold water in, also seals this hole, and that's kind of what we're going to do. Without a thermostat, we're going to drive that in, that hole will be sealed, and it's just going to have a continuous cool water flow what I've read from the race car people, they're saying you're probably gonna run around 170, 180, something like that, which is fine for what we're doing. So uh, yeah, let's drill a hole in and uh, drive it in. Okay, I'm using a 964 drill bit. Herb 1 8, 1 quarter, all kinds of stuff. I wanna keep it small. All right, we got our little, our hole in our freeze plug. All right, I got a 13th, 16th socket here. A little bit of shellac. We're gonna put a little shellac on this thing before we put it in and hope that it uh, seals correctly with that shellac on there. All right. All right. Uh, a little tough, don't wanna drop it. Oh, already did, already messed up. Oh, made a, I've made an absolute mess in here. Excuse me, the spring plug I've got is a little too on the small side. I don't think it's technically uh, 31. And that's what everybody said they used. But it went in. Uh, I'm gonna bring it in here and show you what it looks like. So with that Dorman, once again, that's a triple five, zero 023. I got that at O'Reilly's. I just drove that plug just a little bit below. Um, it's, it's a little, little more than flush. All right, well, we got everything hooked up on the Ranger. Got that funky hose coming up over the intake of the radiator. So we've got the heater hoses. Can't even see down there. They're plugged off. No more, no more heater hoses, no more thermostat. So in theory, the water, the pump should pump the water into the radiator, let it all cool down, and suck right back in through the thermostat housing, and there's no thermostat in it. So there really should be a foolproof design, and then got the steam port, that's important to have that little steam port from the head hooked up, that way it can bleed any excess air. So I'm gonna crank it and uh, see what's happening over here in the radiator. All right, we just cranked it. And uh, you can see there's constant flow through that radiator. It's not warm at all. So things are flowing 
uh, we'll see how it works out once we get the air out of it. She's been running for a few minutes. I don't even have the fans on. Um, and if you know Ford Rangers, it's uh, running a little below the norm. So that, I'd say that's probably 160, 170 right now. And the fans aren't even on. And it's, it's probably, I don't know, 70, 8 degrees outside. So it's a warm, it's a warm day. So, uh, anyhow, we've, uh, I think we've cured the problem. There's no cold spots on my radiator right now. It's hot all the way around it. So, unless I've got a blown head gasket that's going to start eating my coolant away, we might have this fixed. And it looks a lot neater in here with no heater hoses. I've, I don't have a heater box anyway, so I might have to come up with something. So I got my fans on. They're super loud. But you need a lot of air when you put them on the front side. So they're, they're making air come across good. So um, been sitting here probably 10 minutes. And the gauge is, we're just below operating temp. So it's really keeping it cool with the fans on. Now we're gonna get down the road and make sure this thermostat delete has uh, worked the way we wanted it to. All right, so we're running down the freeway. Temp is way down. So the thermostat delete worked out well for the old Ranger. We're running about 60, I'm really happy with it. So if you're having an LS swap, 